Hello, let us welcome you to the first video of a new playlist focused on the Windows Phone 8.1 system. Through here, we will mainly demonstrate video versions of our documented 8.1 guides. So without further ado, let's get back to the video. First, let's see what is this GDR1 update. Simply, this can be considered as an essential endpoint of the Windows Phone 8.1 OS. Marked as the Windows Phone 8.1 update, this brings a lot of features and fixes to the system and upgrades Lumia features to Denim from Cyan. In this video, we will show you how to update your device to 8.10.14129.341 build which is the most common and the minimum requirement for Windows 10 mobile update. But, why the manual update? Typically, this update was delivered to almost all the Windows Phone devices by over-the-air updates. But, some devices were left from the update and now the OTA servers are also misbehaving which all resulting for those devices to get stuck in base Windows Phone 8.1 without GDR1 update. And main drawback of that is the phone cannot be jailbreaked in that state. That's why this video is created and it will successfully update all those devices to the GDR1 update. So which devices can use this guide? Any Windows Phone which has the base Windows Phone 8.1 without the GDR1 update can make use of this guide to update their device fully offline. To know what you have in your phone, follow the below instructions. If it displays software as just Windows Phone 8.1 and the OS version starts with 12, then you are good to go. That's it for the introductions, let's get into updating your device. Now that we are into preparations, we have two softwares to download, we will be using our Windows Universal Tools application to download these software, if you don't have the app, direct download links are also in description, so load the repositories and go to the displayed path. First we are going to download Windows Phone Cab Filter, but before downloading it, Go to the .NET Runtime folder and download the Runtime Installer. Run the installer once downloaded and install it. Once it's installed, go back to Universal Tools and download Windows Phone Cab Filter. Then, get out from the folder and go to iUtils folder and download the MSI installer in there. After that, you can close the app. Go ahead and extract the zip of the Windows Phone Keb filter to anywhere, I will place it in desktop. Thereafter, run the MSI installer to install Windows Phone common packaging tools. Once installed, close the wizard. Now, we are all set with software needed for this. Only thing left to download is this update cabinet set. The download link is in the description. Once you download it, extract it to anywhere you want, I will place it in desktop. That is it for the preparations, proceed on with the video to install the update in your phone. Here are the details of the device used in this guide. It is running base Windows Phone 8.1 OS without the GDR1 update. And checking for updates will not give you anything. So it's basically stuck with what it has. And we are going to update it using this guide to GDR1 update. Before you proceed, take a good note of these. So, first things first, connect your Windows Phone to PC, 
we need to grab a CSV file called installed packages from the phone. For that, we will be using get do logs, go to the displayed path in your PC. Once you are there, click on the address bar and type cmd and press enter. That will open a command window in that directory. There, start typing the command. Below is the syntax. The path can be to anywhere you want. I will place it in desktop of my PC. Double check the command. And when you are ready, press enter. Then, the tool will start creating the log cabinet file. When it states, command executed successfully, you can close the command window. Now open the newly created device logs cabinet file. What we need is the installed packages CSV, extracted from the cabinet file. Then, you need to cut and paste the CSV into the Windows Phone Cab Filter folder. That's it for that step. Now, the next step is to filter the update cabinets. This is where the Windows Phone Cab Filter comes in action. But, first create a new folder in desktop, name it anything you want. Then, go open Windows Phone Cab Filter folder and click on the address bar, type CMD and press enter to open a command window. Now start typing the command. Below is the syntax of the command. The first path between the quotation marks should be the path to the cabinet file set we downloaded in preparations. And the second path between the quotation marks should be the path to the folder we just created in the desktop which is where the filtered packages are going to store. Recheck the command and press enter when you are ready. It will begin filtering the packages to match your phone. Wait until it's over. Now it's done as well. The folder we created in desktop now should be filled with packages matching your device. All left to do is to push these packages to phone and start the update which can be done easily via IU tools and is the next step we are going to showcase. Connect your phone to PC. In phone, go to settings and then to phone update. Back to PC, open the folder where the filtered packages are stored now. Click on the address bar and copy its path. Then go back to the IU Tools directory. Click on the address bar and type CMD and press enter this time too. Now, start typing the command. Paste the copied path between the quotation marks. Recheck the command and press enter when you are ready. Then, IU tool will start pushing the packages and when it's done, it will start the update in phone. You can track the progress in phone update settings of your phone, now, sit back and wait for the update to finish. The complete update procedure should approximately take around 15 to 30 minutes. If you want, you can unplug your device from the PC now, the update process screens in this video are fast forwarded. Now the update is in its final stage, data migration. If it came to this stage, the update is a success in most cases. So, that's it. 
The update is finished and now you can use your phone normally. Go to settings and to about and now you will have Windows Phone 8.1 update and the OS version will be 14219. In this build, you can do everything you want and here is a display of what you can. So, that's about it for the update, proceed on to know about more optional things. So, let's say you want to add a new keyboard language, if you go to settings and then to keyboard and try to add one, first you will need to download them via phone updates, these update servers also will be taken down by the time so I will show you how to add these languages fully offline using cabinet files. Download this archive from the video description. Extract it. Inside, it has every language of the keyboard supported by the OS. To show you how to install these, I will run a test update. So, let's say I want to add United States keyboard to my phone. In settings of my phone, it's not installed and needs downloading. But I'm gonna push this package to the phone and install the keyboard without downloading in phone. For that, go inside the folder. Click on the address bar and copy the path. Then go to the displayed path in your PC. Once you are there, click on the address bar and type CMD to open a command window. Then start typing the command. In the quotation marks, paste the copied path. Then double check the command and hit enter when you want. It will immediately push the package and start the update. Your phone will reboot in a few seconds, then the typical update process will took place but this time, it will only take a couple of minutes. When you are back in the OS, go to Keyboard Languages and try to add the language we just pushed. It should be available to select without downloading. So, that is how to add all the keyboard languages fully offline to your phone, beware, that these set of cabs are only for this specific OS build which we installed in this guide. Continue on to know how to install speech languages fully offline too. So we have come to the last part of the video which is about installing speech languages fully offline to phone. If you go to speech settings in your phone settings and try to add a different language other than the default one, you will see that it has to be downloaded before you can use it. Since the fate of those update servers are also at risk, we will be showing you to install these languages fully offline to your phone. Download this archive from the video description, then extract it. Inside, there will be every speech language available by the OS. There will be two cabinets for each language. To run a test update, let's say I want to install United States speech language. In phone settings, it has to be downloaded via phone updates before I can use it. But we are going to skip that by pushing these two cabinet files inside the United States folder which will install that speech language. First, copy the address to the cabinet files. Then, go to the displayed path. Once you are there, click on the address bar and type CMD and press enter, then, start typing the command. Paste the copied path between the quotation marks. Now, double check the command and run it. The cabinet files will be pushed and the update will start in your phone. Then, your phone will restart and the typical updating process will occur. 
Update will take around 5 minutes. Once you are back in the OS, go back to speech settings and try to choose the language we just installed. It should be now available to select without downloading. So, that is how to add any speech language cab fully offline to the phone, beware that this language cabs are only for this specific OS version which we installed in this guide. That is all for this video, see you in another Windows Phone 8.1 video, until then, goodbye.